this is the time when we open up the doors to you and we let them in. When you're up, when you're down, when you're bound. Amen, amen, amen. When you're up, let him in. When you're down, let him in. When you're bound, let him in. No matter what season we find ourselves in, we've got to let him in, being the Holy Spirit. In him we live, we breathe, we move, and we have our being. We're going to open up today's broadcast with music by Boston's own Bishop Bobby Perry. The song's entitled, it's all about you the title cut of his project and again where this is healing our lens church of the midnight hour broadcast i'm your host pastor franklin hobbs i'll be with you through till 6 a.m we're live every sunday morning and wednesday mornings from 4 a.m to 6 a.m we're on every saturday morning from 5 a.m to 7 a.m via the gen generous support of caleb international ministry and the ezra institutes of apologetics, one of my spiritual fathers in the gospel. Pastor Louis Legata is the founder of that ministry. He's been a supporter of this ministry since its inception, February of 1998. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad and we're grateful that he's redeemed us from the curse of the law of sin and of death. Nevertheless, we live, yet not us, the old carnal man, but Jesus Christ lives by faith in us. His word dwells in us richly. We're blessed. We're healed. We're delivered. We're set free. Sickness cannot dwell in us. The number of our days he will fulfill because he's in us and we are in him. And by faith, we have the abundant life and the victory that he provides. Therefore, no weapon. Hallelujah. Though they be formed against us, will ever be successful and prospering. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, thanks be to God that we have the authority to condemn. This is the heritage of us, the servant of the Lord. I'm so grateful that our righteousness is never in our self works, but it's in the completed work of Jesus the Christ. And as the redeemed of the Lord, we declare and we decree it to be so. So looking forward to having fellowship with you on this morning. I uh, want to acknowledge our brothers and sisters tuning in from the Suffolk County House of Correction, in particular, my brother Conrad Colbert, my brother George Ruiz. So grateful for the connection. Thank you, gentlemen, for writing me. I've got letters that I'll be reading on your, the air this morning. God willing, we'll be praying for our other brothers and sisters who are incarcerated, those who've been released from incarceration, who are back into society, who are navigating their way to be able to be productive contributing citizens and fulfilling God's purpose in their life citizens of the kingdom of God more importantly than even productive contributing citizens in society but let's start there but in any event I want to uh, thank um, and acknowledge all of the global ministries Christian church is uh, brothers from our man to man movement broadcast our uh, men, head of our men's ministry elder Ryan L. Wise I want to acknowledge Eric Kennedy who has been is to God sent our brother self disclose who has a powerful testimony recently been released from incarceration he's become my right hand for the ministry of healing our land as we continue to build infrastructure to continue to respond to our brothers and sisters who are writing us from all houses all across uh, uh, across the state of Massachusetts and we're grateful for a passionate um, for brothers and sisters who are incarcerated as he was incarcerated. So I thank God for Brother Eric Kennedy. I want to acknowledge our sister Nene, faithful listeners, and each and every one of you who tune into the broadcast, whether you've tuned in once or you tune in all the time or you're tuning in for the first time. I appreciate you and the fellowship with you. You're priceless to the kingdom of God, hence priceless to me. We are many members, but one body that no flesh will glory in the presence of God. It's all about God. No flesh will glory in the presence of God. God resists the proud, but the humble he will exalt. So I want to also, forgive me, acknowledge my senior pastors, Pastor Bruce and Pastor Karen Wall, the senior pastors of the Global Ministries Christian Church located at 670 Washington Street, Dorchester, Mass. at 670 Washington Street. And they are my spiritual parents. I thank God for them and uh, we invite you to join us every Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. for Bible Institute, 9.30 a.m. I mean, at the altar for prayer. 10 a.m. we step into praise and worship. And every Friday night we have prayer meeting and Bible study. Again, 
love for you to be able to join us anytime that you're able to. Without further ado, we're going to open up with Bishop Bobby Perry. And it's all about you. you. We lift our hands to you. We magnify you. We glorify you. And else compares to your love. For Lord, we know that without you we would go wrong, and the rough times would seem so long, bearing trials and pain all along. And Lord, we know. My dear friend and brother Bruce Woody. Hey, man of God, thank you for being tuned in. God's richest blessings be multiplied to you and to yours, my dear friend. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. Blessings to Ralph Alpha. God bless you, man of God. What a wonderful time we had on this morning with the brethren breaking bread. Thank you so much, man, for your presence. Appreciate you. Love you to life, gentlemen. Thank you for being with me this morning for Healing Our Lands Church of the Midnight Hour broadcast amen brother bruce woody said may he be praised it's all about you god yes god hallelujah hallelujah brother bruce woody i gotta tell you my brother the 10 years that i had the privilege to walk with you while you were incarcerated you were the very first brother i had the privilege to walk with and god has now blessed me to be volunteer chaplain under the leadership of the uh, full-time chaplain pastor michelle rogers but we broke bread this morning with brothers all of which who were being returning citizens from incarceration and god's really just given me a passion and an opportunity to be able to walk with our brothers and sisters who've been incarcerated so thank you brother bruce woody for uh and thank you holy spirit you said this was going to happen and it has come to fruition that we are walking with many brothers and sisters who are incarcerated and you were the very first Amen, brother Bruce Woody. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. It's all about you. It's all about you. 
Yes, Father. Hallelujah. 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 He's able to do all things. Amen. Brother Ralph Alpha said, praise God today. Indeed, it was a beautiful time of fellowship. We were able to break bread. We went to an all-you-can-eat buffet. And we just uh, had a wonderful time of rich fellowship. Bless you, Daniel. Doom, thank you for being tuned in, God's richest blessings. Be multiplied to you and to yours. Hallelujah. What a wonderful day it has been. We give God all the praise. We give him all the glory. Boston Tom Bishop Bobby Perry, the song you're hearing in the background, it's all about you title cut of his project. I'm going to go to some more music in just a moment. But again, I want to pause and again, uh, just celebrate my brothers who are in the, my Facebook live feed on this morning. My brother, Bruce Woody, was the first one that came on to the air this morning. Again, I met this brother um, uh, many years ago. And again, I had the privilege of walking with him for 10 years of being incarcerated. And God's bless us. He's now leading a, a, a prayer line called the power movement men of god who are being able to pray early in the morning and brother bruce woody perhaps you can give us the details of that uh, man of, of that power movement these are men of god who come together and early in the morning they pray in a very transparent atmosphere we also came up with a model of accountability and i've um, go on leaps and bounds. We have gotten a complementary models to be able to tweak to do what's going to be effective in each of our respective lives. But we are learning to be courageous as men of God to be able to uh, heal, to mature, and to walk in wholeness as we confess our faults to God. He's faithful. He's just. He will forgive and he will cleanse us from all un righteousness the bible says confess your faults one to the other pray one for the other why so we can be healed perpetually not that any of us have arrived but this one thing we must do forget the things that are behind us reach for things that are ahead press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling that's in a relationship with jesus christ looking unto him who's the author and the finisher of our faith who will not forsake the work of his own hand the time frame is 6 a.m monday through friday for the um for the power movement what I need, Brother Bruce Woody, is actually the phone number so that we can be able to share that with our listeners so that they can also have the opportunity to be able to tune in um, on that uh, prayer line in the morning. He says the prayer line has been elevated by God to evolve into a medium for his glory. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That's good to hear. Um, and again, our brother, I introduced to I had the privilege of introducing him to the prayer line and he has now become a leader on the prayer line. He's now a member of our brother, Pastor Andy Thompson's church, which is in North Carolina, who we know all those who live here in Boston know Andy Thompson is from uh, is the son of Bishop Thompson uh, from Jubilee Christian Church, where our friend and brother and his biological brother, Pastor Andy Thompson's biological brother is Matthew Thompson, who's now the senior pastor of the Jubilee Church, formerly known as New Covenant Christian Church. So God is blessing and having these divine connections. My brother, Bruce Woody, who's tuned in again, he is a leader at that church there in North Carolina. I don't know the name of the church. World Overcomers Christian Church. There we go. Thank you, brother Bruce Woody. World Overcomers Christian Church, where our friend and brother, Pastor Andy Thompson, is the senior pastor. And our brother Bruce Woody is um, a leader there at the church. And the number for the, the power movement exclusively for men. Um, and we need spaces that men can be able to be uh, their authentic selves in the presence of God and each other. And so I thank God for this vehicle. It has, it has truly blessed my life. And so every time I get an opportunity, I, um, I like to be with them, and spend some time that I've been with them quite candidly. But um, different seasons, different reasons. And I thank God I'm on a, other prayer lines and it's men and women, but that helped me. I needed that that exclusivity and I need that still intermittently. And th so you can call the number 605-475-6006. Again, write that down. 605-475-6006 is the number. Then the access code is 119862. 119862. Again, 119862. If you need more details, in your, uh, you can go to my Facebook live feed and you'll see it typed in there, or you can call us live on the air. If you missed it, 617-282-0685. I'm live on the air in the studio early this morning for no other reason but to be able to praise God with you 
on one accord and to be able to fellowship one with the other, to be edified and to edify each other as brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Many members, but one body that God gets all the glory. So we're here to praise God. We're here to be able to know those who labor amongst us and we're able to um, give God praise. We're able to have fellowship where you can ask your question and we can um, come let us reason together. And my brother Bruce Woody said he's the head of the transportation ministry at the World Overcomers Christian Church. He also is a leader on the power movement prayer line that happens every Monday through Friday. And I believe that time is, let me go back here. It is 6 a.m. in the morning, early in the morning. Again, bless you, Daniel Doom and my brother Ralph Alpha. Thank you for being tuned in via Facebook Live. And again, those who are tuning in via www.bostonpraiseradio.tv. God bless you. Those who are tuning in via our FM platform, WBPG LP 102.9 FM. We're going to go to some more music um, in short order, but I... Uh, Really, I'm curious to be able to hear some feedback this morning. I have to tell you, I'm a little, uh, quite candidly, um, I don't know how to really explain it. I had an Uber driver this morning that brought me here to the station on this morning, and I, um, well, we had a conversation about Christians, and I he, I told him about Boston Praise Radio and TV Network, and he, I told him we're a, a Bible-based church he said what kind of church do you go to and i said it's a bible-based church and christian and he says most people don't uh process the bible properly um there's only one interpretation and most folks don't process it and the long and the short of it is is he as we begin to further communicate he uh was really adamant that we all um that we have to that we have to keep the whole law um, basically, and that we, if if God didn't think we could keep it, then he wouldn't have given it to us. Um, and that, and I asked him, so you really believe that you keep every single detail? I'm not talking, and I told him the whole law is summarized in this, love the Lord God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and your neighbor unto yourself. And he read the scripture, and he went on to be able to say um, how, no, that, well, that's a private interpretation, and you know, the Bible's up to no private interpretation, and ultimately that we can fulfill the law and that if we couldn't then god wouldn't have given us the law my understanding is that god for god he he who knew no sin became sin as an intercessor that's why we thank god for grace um so i'm curious to hear your perspective those who are tuned in um via any medium if you want to write us if you're tuned in on the air let's have some fellowship um because i think and i I got his information. I said, we're going to continue to have some dialogue. But as you have conversations with people, it's very interesting to me, the different perspectives that people have. And everybody believes that there's that they're the authority. And um, so it's very interesting. I mean, and one of the things to me is the fruit of the spirit. And even when we have conversations, I mean, I unfortunately, the brother was really like interrupting and really hostile. And um, and so we, we can't even listen to each other. We can't even have conversations, but yet no fruit from my perspective, but yet we believe we keep the law. And so I, I want to hear from you um, uh, because I'm really, it, really, it really troubled me in my spirit as I was in good. And that's the trick of the enemy. I get it. So we're going to go into praise and worship and allow God to fill us up as we do every time we're on the air. But this is just how the enemy works. So I need your prayers um, on this morning, beloved family, and I need to hear from you um, because I'm confident that um, uh, if it's, but it's Lamentations 3, 21 through 23 says, therefore this I recall to my mind, it is of the Lord's mercy that we all are not consumed. This compassion fails not. Great is his faithfulness. And the Bible tells me in Romans 10, 9 and 10, if we believe in our heart and we confess with our mouth that God has raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. For with the heart, man believes unto salvation, and with the mouth, confession is made unto righteousness. There's no other name given unto heaven to remember, which we must be saved. Jesus said, Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. The Bible tells me a righteous man falls seven times seven, and we should forgive our brother seven times seven, and as much as we extend grace, we'll receive grace. And we can come boldly to the throne of grace, unmerited favor, and we can receive mercy, not getting what we deserve, and help on the time and need. If we confess our faults to God, he's faithful, he's just, he will forgive, and he will cleanse us from all um, righteousness. That we can confess our faults one to the other, pray one for the other, so that we can be healed, respectively, be perpetually. Paul, I believe, said, not that I've arrived, but this one thing I do. Forget the things that are behind us. Reach 
but things are already ahead. We got to press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling that's in relationship with Jesus the Christ, looking unto him who's both the author and the finisher of our faith, the substance of things that we hope for, the evidence of things not yet seen. So uh, it's very, very interesting to me that anyone could really believe that they dot every I and cross every T and that they have it, with the the the. Ten Commandments aren't even every single law. I mean, we can't even, you know, in terms of dietary things and, you know, um, the old the Old Testament laws. And if you miss one of it, you are fail in all of it. So help me to understand, beloved family. I really need to hear from you this morning. But I'm going to go back to the Facebook Live feed. My brother is saying he is so worthy to be praised, being God. Amen. He says, I thank God, you, God, for Minister Hobbs, for being in my life during the time I was in the belly of the beast. Thank you for your prayers, your friendship. God has anointed and appointed you to be a, bear with me here. I want to see what else it's saying here. Oh man, it's not giving me the opportunity to read it on my phone. So I'll have to um, come back to the rest of that in just a moment. But thank you, Brother Bruce Woody. I so appreciate you. Again, you can call live on the air. I'd love to hear from you, Brother Bruce Woody, or anyone who is on the um, who's up this morning, who's engaged. I'd love to hear from you. 617-282-0685, www.bostonpraiseradio.tv. We're going to go to some more music and some more praise. And as we... Just uh, thank God for who he is and just have fellowship with him. We'll experience the presence of God and in the presence of the Lord. We know there's fullness of joy at his right hand. There are pleasures evermore. More music coming here by Bishop Bobby Perry from his project titled Cut is One Voice. <laughs> Actually, because we're going to play Heal by Bishop Bobby Perry featuring Jason Nelson. by the wound in his side. Thank you for healing God in my spirit, our minds, our bodies. Bless you, beloved brother Antonio Brooks. Thank you for being tuned in. God, which his blessings be multiplied to you and to yours. Yes, he does. Hallelujah.
Bless God. songs entitled One Voice by Bishop Bobby Perry Project title cut as Conquerors Psalm 133 says behold how good and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity it is like the oil that flows from Aaron's head to his beard down to the bottom of his robe God said there have I commanded my blessing even life forevermore it doesn't matter your ethnicity your denomination or your gender we're all God's people, and we unify ourselves yes, to worship with yes. one voice. One voice we sing. One voice we yes, pray. Our praise to Hallelujah. And all that we do. One voice Hallelujah. we sing. One voice we Your people give all praise to you, Almighty King. For we declare you are royalty. We join with Hallelujah. the yes, God. Thank you. One, voice. One voice we sing.
Good morning, beloved sister, Mary Alice Curry. God bless you. Woman of God, my dear friend, thank you for being tuned in. Yes, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One voice. Hallelujah, yes, sir. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, thank you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, forgive us of our sins of division. How we've divided ourselves, O God, by denomination, by ethnicity, by gender and class. But I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you're bringing us together as one. One body, one church, giving one sound and one praise to you, O God. For you're delivering us all over the world. And we thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. And we glorify you. Yes, God. And we honor you. Amen. Beloved with sister. One voice. Mary Alice. Thank you, Jesus. Curry. Hallelujah. Say, Glory bless you. Jesus. Thought I was dreaming. Have your way, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Good morning, beloved sister. Bishop Bobby Perry Boston. There is a wonderful own. revelation throughout the Old Testament that teaches us the importance of coming together. We would benefit to know that when the Levites or the Levitical priesthood joined themselves in praise and in worship with the chief Brother priests Eric of Othic, the Israelites, you, God, thank you that for being the glory of the Lord filled wherever they were. When we define the word Levi, we understand it to mean a joining or a coming together of two or more entities. Today we've come to join ourselves in praise and in worship. We've come to join the clapping of our hands with the opening of our mouths. We've come to lift the name of Jesus higher, for he declared that if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Second Chronicles chapter 5 is an account in scripture where the Levites, which were the singers, all of them of Asaph and of Heman and of Jedithin came together with one mind with one accord in one place singing praise and giving glory unto God saying for surely he is good and his mercy endureth forever that the glory cloud of the Lord filled the temple it filled the temple to the place where the priest could not stand to minister because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house well that meant nothing to me at first but I found out that Asaph amen, means to amen. gather Amen. And Heman means the faithful And Jedithin means a choir of praise And it let me know that if we could ever gather the faithful into a choir of praise Then the glory of the Lord would fill any house I've come to tell you today that we've come to join ourselves together We've come to join our pain and our sorrow with our happiness and our joy We've come to join our situations with what God said about our situation We've come to give him praise We've come to give him glory. We've come to honor him. Help me magnify him today as we've come Hallelujah. to bless the name of God. Boston's Somebody own Bishop give him glory. Perry. Hallelujah. Amen. My beloved sister, Mary Alice Curry is saying, have your way, Lord. She says, how did we know at this time we can bless him together at the 4 a.m. hour? Hallelujah. Come on now, she says, amen to God be the glory. You're tuned in the Healing Alliance Church at the Midnight Hour Broadcast. We're going to go to some music by Pastor Frida Battle and the Temple Worshippers. And this song's entitled Hallelujah. And you know, we were just saying, or Bishop Bobby Perry was just saying, one voice. It's interesting. No matter what nation we come from, the universal praise in a word is hallelujah. And that word in is the highest praise in a word to be able to give God praise, hallelujah. Again, as I said, I met a brother who was my Uber driver on the way to uh, the station this morning who, who was challenging me that we actually, every believer can, 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 can fulfill or can keep the law. They can dot every I and cross every T that that is only, that's the only way, that's the only way that you can, I guess, be righteous if you, if you dot every I and cross every T and that that is actually conceivable for us to do that. And I'm really curious to hear um, your perspective, beloved family, as I believe that we've all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and it's but by his mercy that we all 
are not consumed, but his compassion fails not. Great is his faithfulness, and we can come boldly to the throne of grace, and we can receive mercy and help in the time of need. That We've got an intercessor being Jesus the Christ, and so we stand complete in his righteousness, never in our self-righteousness, and so um, I'm so curious to hear what say you as we go into some more praise and worship, and I just want to celebrate that God the Father manifested through Jesus Christ and that as a result of that, he paid the price for every sin I've ever done and will ever do past, present, and future, and that his grace is sufficient. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation and glory. Giving God praise, giving Him glory. Hallelujah. 617 282 685. What say you with regard to can we keep the law, dot every I and cross every T, and fulfill every law? I'm curious to hear your perspective. Uh, you're tuned in to Healing, Healing Our Lands Live broadcast here on the Boston Praise Radio. Then I saw network. a new heaven and a Pastor new earth. Battle of the temple For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. 
And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away, passed away. Take his name as the bride and, and Jesus Christ being the husband man. Oh, there will be there will be no more no more pain, no sorrow or shame.
Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Boston Zone, Pastor Frida Battle on the Temple Worshippers. This song's about over and over again. God shows us His love. God, thank you, Savior. Over that over and over, and over again. again, you show us your love. Over and over again, again. Hallelujah. you show Hallelujah. for Hallelujah. your love. Thank you, Father. Help me sing. Over and over yes, God. again. Over and over again. Why I receive it Hallelujah over and over again. You show forth your love. What we're trying to tell you this afternoon is that Paul spoke in Ephesians chapter 3, where he says that he wished that you might know the width and the length and the height and the depth of God's love, that it may become fullness to you. So we're encouraging you today to know and understand that God has a love for you that's throughout all eternity. Come on, worshipers. Thank you for the length of your love, the length of your love, the height, the height of your love, the depth of your love. Thank you for the width of your love, the length, the length your love, the height of your love, the depth of your love, with your love, the length of your love, the height of your love, the depth of your love, for the width of your love, the length of your love, the height of your love, the depth of your love.
Come on, sing with us. The length, the height, the depth. Thank you. The length, the height. Hallelujah, hallelujah, over and over again. God shows us his love. Hallelujah, thanks be to God that we can come boldly to the throne of grace to receive mercy and help in a time of need. No one deserves the glory. Pastor Freedom Battle, the Temple Worship Worth from Fire to Title Cut, Serious Prayer. My soul just burst with praise, Jesus. How I love you. No other name compares to yours for you. Ah, oh, Jesus. Behold, Jesus. Lover of my soul, Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. It's a privilege to be in your presence, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh,
Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. No one deserves the highest praise but you. Yes, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless your name, Savior. Deliverer, righteous governor, great I am. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, the great I am that I am. Everything that we need, Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Shalom, our peace. Jehovah Nisi, our victor, our banner, our battle fire. No one deserves the highest praise but you. Bishop Reverend Lucille Clegg. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen. No one deserves the highest praise but you. Boston's own pastor free the battle and the temple worshipers. Good morning, Peaches. Hey, sis. Thank you for being tuned in. We're just singing. Pastor Free the Battle song entitled No One Deserves the Highest Praise But You. We're going to the top of our hour station ID. Be back on the other side of the top of the hour for one more hour through till 6 a.m. At that point, Bishop Harold Brandt will pick up the station with Down Home Gospel. Hey, sis, love you to life. What a preaching, singing, gifted, anointed woman of God, my beloved sister, Peaches Evans. Hallelujah. This song's entitled Right at Home. That's what I love to be in the presence of God. We're going to be able to play a little piece of this because we got to go to our station ID. You're tuned in to Healing Our Lands Church of the Midnight Hour broadcast. I'm your host, Pastor Hobbs. Be with you through till 6 a.m. Be back tonight, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, 4 p.m. through to 6 p.m. Saturday morning, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. P. 102.9 FM Radio. We are located at 670 Washington Street in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Our zip code is 02124. Our phone number is 617-282-0685. 617-282-0685. The views and opinions expressed by the following paid program are those of the program producers and they do not reflect the views and opinion of Global Ministries Christian Church, its staff or management. This is the time when we open up the doors to you. Amen. And we let them in this God. When you're up, let them in. When you're down, let them in. When you're bound, let them in. Let them in. Boston's own Pastor James Funches and the Blessed Hope Tabernacle Outreach Ministry. We're back for the second hour for Healing Our Lands Church of the Midnight Hour broadcast. I am your host, Pastor Hobbs. I'll be with you through to 6 a.m. We're on from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Sunday and Wednesday mornings. We're on 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Saturday mornings. That's the Church of the Midnight Hour broadcast sponsored by the Caleb International Ministry and the Ezra Institutes of Apologetics. We're also on Every Sunday evening, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., as well as Tuesday through Friday. Monday is my Sabbath that I'm not on. The only day that I'm not by the grace of God, and I'm grateful by the grace of God to be on six days of the week, Tuesday through Friday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And that's really the generous support of Pastor Wall, the Global Ministries Christian Church, and the Boston Praise Radio Owens TV Network. I had the privilege of serving as the assistant manager under the leadership of our manager, Deacon Renee Wise, and our founder, Pastor Bruce Wall, please support the Boston Praise Radio Owen TV Network and the uh, ministry. It's a ministry of the Global Ministries Christian Church. Um, again, we've got this gem of this multimedia platform right here in the city of Boston by the black church that is biblically grounded. And it is um, it's biblically grounded and community based. I so appreciate that it is a ministry that is um, social justice that's engaging our community. So I'm going to endeavor to 
share a song with you it's by my friend and brother Elder Darrell Davis. He is the worship leader for the New Dimensions Church in Providence, Rhode Island. And this song is entitled Breathe Into Me. The Bible tells us in Genesis 2, 7 that God formed man out of the dust of the earth and he blew into our nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. The Bible also tells us that um, in him we live, we breathe, we move, and we have our being. And so I thank God that um, it's the breath of God that gives us life. It's the breath of God that we are full of the spirit, walking in the spirit, that we don't yield to the lust of our flesh, the lust of our eyes, or the pride of this transient life. Again, we've all sinned and we've all fallen short of the glory of God, and but by his mercy that we all are not consumed but his compassion fails not great is his faithfulness nothing can separate us from the love of jesus the christ i have yet for someone to call in i don't know if uh, folks are just not able to but i really would love or someone to convey via our facebook live feed or in our instant chat room um, your thoughts with regard to can we as believers uh keep the law dot every i and cross every t um and is that you know is that is that even conceivable um um please i'm so curious to hear as i said i had an uber driver this morning that insists that we can and that um if we and that but that we do that he does that he dots every i and crosses every t and he is one of the few people that um can that has that actually keeps the law and all the commandments everything that god's commanded us to and i, and I we went to the whole notion of i said to him love the lord god with all your heart soul mind and strength and your neighbor as yourself but um that was not sufficient for him he used the scripture with every temptation god will make a way of escape and so again i said you're telling me that you know it, it, every levitical law that the bible doesn't even list them all you know the, but even the ones that are there um you're telling me that you keep every single one of those um, and he insists that he does. So uh, what can I say? God bless. We're going to have a continued conversation, but I'd really be curious to hear your perspective and to weigh in on that. Um, I'm having some difficulty pulling up the song I endeavored to pull up by Elder Darrell Davis, so I'm going to try to work on that in the interim. I think I'm going to play this song by Boston's own Pastor Clarence Powell. Project title cut is Made It After All, and this song is entitled made it after all boston's own pastor clarence powell we made it after all after all name sometimes the way has not been easy it's only been the Holy Ghost that's kept me lost in misery and sin walking around in darkness and then Jesus came into my life and he made everything all right when all is said and done and we have won we'll shout for joy we made it after all when we could not see our way because of sin he paid, we made it after all, after all. Mm -hmm. I thank him cause his spirit lives in me, helping me daily to succeed. Give me a 
on this heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are one. Shout for joy. We made it. That's what we're looking and longing for when we have to, when we get the privilege to stand before God and hear him say, enter into your rest, my good and faithful servant. Well done. Hallelujah. Boston's own Pastor Clarence Powell Project. Title cut is Made It After All. We're going to play some more music by the same artist from that project, Title Cut, that song's entitled Without Faith. Understand without faith it's impossible to please God. We must believe that He exists and He's a rewarder of us who diligently seek Him. Boston's own Pastor Clarence Powell. Mustard seed, you can take move, 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 mountains move. You cannot. He's a rewarder. Is 
Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. faith you can't please god must first believe that he exists and that he's a rewarder of us who diligently seek him again you're tuned in to healing our last church of the midnight hour broadcast i am your host pastor hobbs i'll be with you right through till 6 a.m our time is quickly coming to a close um, this bittersweet moment as our brother uh elder mcqueen who you'll hear read the word on the Boston Praise Radio Only TV Network, www.bostonpraiseradio.tv, 24 hours a day globally, www.bostonpraiseradio.tv. That's where you can hear the voice of the church alive and well in Boston, New England, echoing throughout the entire globe. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I want to go to read a couple of letters from you that from our brothers who are incarcerated have written as you have a voice here on the Boston Praise Radio ONT Network. And so we encourage you to write us here and let us know that you'd like for us to read your letter on the air or please convey that you want us to write you back and to visit you. But uh, don't read your letter on the air. If we want us to keep that confidential, we certainly want to respect your confidentiality as well as your anonymity in the in the converse. Uh, if you want us to um, amplify your your concern and identify who you are and have people to pray for you by name, then please also communicate that. And if you want us to pray privately or to pray publicly, um, please also indicate that we certainly want to respect your wish. And we optimally want you to be able to be walking the abundant life that God has preordained for you to be able to experience. I'm going to go to some more music by again, Boston's, or I should say Lowell's own. This is, Elder Daryl Davis, very dear friend, a childhood friend, gifted, anointed man of God, so godly, proud of him. He's the worship leader for the whole Armor International Ministry in Lowell, Massachusetts. But the senior pastor is also a friend and brother from uh, my youth. And we've been young and now we're old, but we've not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's Anthony, Prophet Anthony Triplett the senior pastor of the whole Armour International Ministry where Elder Darrell Davis serves as the worship leader. And they've got a group called Ruah doing some great things. So we encourage you to pick up their projects and support them throughout um, the nation and the world. This song's entitled, Breathe Into Me. Genesis 2 and 7. And then God formed man from the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Father, breathe right now as we're in your presence. Breathe into me, the breath of life. Breathe into me, the breath of life. Breathe into me the breath of life. Breathe into me, Lord, the breath of life. I gotta have more. I gotta have more of you. The breath of life. The breath of life. Oh, 
Lord. Breathe into me the breath of life. The breath of life. Say, breathe into me. Breathe into me the breath of life. The breath of life. Oh, breathe into me, Lord. Breathe into me the breath of life. Massachusetts' own Elder Daryl Davis and the songs entitled Breathe Into Me. Going to go to some more music by more of New England's own. This is Bishop John R. Thompson, who is the senior pastor of Calvary Temple Church in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Again, a uh, uh, child, I say a more of a, of a, a young man. Um, I was living in Bridgeport, Connecticut, um, at maybe, I don't know, 19, 20 years of age. And I was a member of the Fellowship Temple on Stratford Avenue, directly next door to Bishop Kenneth Moles Church um, Prayer Tabernacle. And I uh, thank God I was managing a men's clothing store, first time out of the state, living out of the state, and things were going very well. And I was a member of this church. And this brother, Bishop John R. Thompson, who you're about to hear, was the director of the choir. He's now a pastor in his own right, a bishop in his own right, a gospel recording artist, entrepreneur, uh, married. Uh, Janice, who was also a member of the choir, they were courting, and now she is his wife, mother of his children, co pastor. And so I'm so godly proud of where God has brought us from. I had the privilege again today of being with a spiritual mother. Happy birthday to Mother Battle, who has truly been a mother to me at a time that I was in a, I was homeless and jobless and uh, brokenhearted because of challenges within my marriage. And um, thank God for Mother Battle received me. And she fed me. And um, the time I came, there was something to eat. And she made sure I had a place to stay. So thank you, Mother Battle. And happy birthday, 100 years young. And she still remembered who I was, her husband, Reverend um, Battle. I thank God for him and her son, uh, Louis Battle, a.k.a. Butch, who is a minister 
Um, it was so good to see so many people in the battle, Dr. Battle, just where God has brought us from. We're reflecting as children, um, our youth and being roller skating at the Shea Boo's Gospel Monday nights. We were talking about, you know, going to uh, Denny's early in the morning after we'd be in church and just how we used to used to, used to love just to hang out. And we would go from Rehoboth Lighthouse Full Gospel Church and we'd, have, we'd just take a carload in a caravan to go to New England Pentecostal Church and how God has kept us. Some have transitioned and um, we've gone through marriages and divorces and so many different things that we've gone through, just life. But we were still here and able to reflect and just celebrate. So um, it's important. My father says, give me my flowers while I can smell them. So I'm so grateful I was able to be there to celebrate the life of Mother Battle. This song's entitled, I Worship You for My Storms. And we've got to worship God for the storm. Understanding all things are working together for the good I worship you of us who love God for my storm. and are the called according to his purpose. Come on, put your hands together and let's give him worship for every storm in your life, for everything that you've been through. Let us put our hands together and let us worship him because he's worthy of all praise. Storms, they come. Amen, to amen. Break yes, they do. Us, the pain yes, and the rain yes, to make yes, us fears and, and doubts. doubts. They shake us, the tragedies, they will prove us. I worship you for my storms. I worship you for my storms. I worship you for my storms. I worship you. Him all over this house. I worship. I need 
need to hear you worship him. Come on and bless his name because he's wonderful. Every tear you've been through, every lonely night that you had, every trial when this place fell down, you need to worship him for every single thing you've been through, for every question that you had, for every dark night. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody worship him right now. Heal my heart so I can worship. Heal my mind, God, because I want to worship. Heal my spirit so I can worship and my emotions because I need to worship. Heal my mind so I can worship. Heal my heart because I need to worship. Heal my spirit. So I can worship in worship. my emotions. Cause I need to worship. Come on. Heal my mind. So I can worship. Heal my mind. Heal my heart. Heal my heart. I need to worship. Jesus. Heal my spirit. Yes, Jesus. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Heal our mind, heal our hearts, heal our spirits so we can worship you in spirit and in truth. Not by might, not by power, but by God's spirit, says the Lord. We're going to uh, read a couple of letters that we've just received from our brothers who are incarcerated, who are our returning citizens. This one says, Dear Pastor Hobbs, I want to thank you so much for visiting me seeing you was such a blessing i appreciate our conversation it was uplifting and inspiring and again if there's any other way your ministry can help me in my journey to a better way of life i would appreciate it more than you'll ever know bless your ministry and bless you you pastor hop sincerely conrad P.S. I have a friend who is also in need of help from your ministry. His name is Frederick. He's in the 4-3 unit. Interesting enough, I'll be at the 4-3 unit on this coming Wednesday uh, to show the movie Part 1 Courageous. And then I'll be back on the following Wednesday, the 14th, to show Part 2. And we'll have some conversation about the movie Courageous. For those who are tuning in via www.bostonpraiseradio.tv, Roku TV, and Facebook Live, I'm going to actually show you the cover of what the movie looks like. An excellent, excellent movie. We had the privilege via John Dolan, who's over the uh, recovery, the D4 or drug unit, to be able to show Courageous. And Courageous is from the creators of Fireproof. Honor begins at home. It's powerful, heroic, entertaining, and life-changing so it talks about as law enforcement officers Adam, Nathan, Hayes and their partners willingly stand up to the worst the world can offer yet at the end of the day they face a challenge that none of them are truly prepared to take tackle fatherhood while they consistently give their best on their job they quickly discover that their children are beginning to drift further away from them when tragedy hits home, these men are left with a newfound urgency to renew their faith and reach out to their own children. Will they be able to find a way to serve and protect those who are the most dear to them? Fatherhood as men of God. Movies called Courageous will be showing at the Suffolk County House of Correction. Meet me there this coming Wednesday. Brothers and sisters who, well, brothers who are incarcerated, meet me there. I look to see you there, my brother uh, Conrad, my brother uh, George Ruiz, and every brother who can 
look to see you this coming Wednesday, the following Wednesday at the Suffolk County House of Correction. And those who are believers, pray for me, pray for the atmosphere, pray for our brothers to be receptive to what God wants to do to help men to be courageous, to be men of God, to, to be able to be the husbands, the fathers, the sons that God has called for us to be as the leaders in our community. Bless you, my brother Eric Arthur. Thank you for being tuned in. Bless you, my brother Ismail Norman Neverson. Thank you for being tuned in as well. I've got another letter from another brother, and this brother's name is George. I read this letter on this morning's broadcast. Um, that was 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., but I'm going to do it this morning. It says, good day, Pastor Hobbs. I'm George, writing first to say thank you for your prayers and your concerns regarding my circumstances. I'm sincerely grateful for God sending you to counsel and guide me. Of course, your visit was also an extremely important to me personally. It confirms to my persons, that is that God is actually paying attention to me personally. Anyhow, as we both know, time is very limited as well as precious. I just want to acknowledge you as you acknowledged me. It's Friday and I have to prepare for work in the kitchen of this jail, South Bay House of Correction. We didn't have sufficient time to complete our brief talk due to matters beyond our ability to control. Hopefully at another date, another time and date. We'll be able to talk again. Thank you for your overwhelming patience, your undivided attention as I spoke. When we change as humans who have erred, it's extremely vital to reconnect with people of respectable reputation and honor. Who are willing and able to provide divine support and intervention? All right, my friend, Pastor Hobbs, I'll probably close this letter this evening. I'm being disturbed at this moment. He picks it back up and says, just returning from my work assignment, etc. Let me remind you that I will be eligible for possible parole release after the 13th of February. I wanted to write you this quick letter of gratitude while I have a few moments to spare. I need to use my time wisely while I have the freedom to have free time, ironically, to focus on learning. God willing, we'll meet again soon, right now. I have to be aware and determined to con to continue to reprogram my mind. I have to say have to stay at, on my path and routine in order to re-educate myself. It's a pretty big order, but as I have expressed, I'm receiving the angels I pray for. But I need I need to realize my own destiny, and this is my calling. I hope you have health and joy and peace of mind. Pastor Hobbs, I would have written more, but I'm a bit overwhelmed this evening. I just want to return to my studies and goals of plan. Time is precious and life is short here on this earth. In the meantime, thanks once again for your time, your patience, your encouragement. You really did brighten my day today. Take care and may God bless you, your friends, your family and acquaintances. Amen. I'll be in touch accordingly. It's been a long day today. I need to pray, read some scriptures, and try and refocus. Something is causing me to feel weak tonight. I've been working nearly seven days each week, etc., for this entire month. All right, then. I hope to receive a reply from you, Pastor Hobbs. I need good friends in my life. Help me climb my mountain. And I'm still writing. This is how I find my peace of mind in this place. Oh Lord, I need to progress. This is all. Enjoy this day, Pastor Hobbs. Respectfully, George, your friend. Please keep me in your prayers. I need to feel connected civilly somehow. Thanks a bunch, Pastor Hobbs. God bless you now and always. Amen. Father God, I come before you as humbly as I know how. Father, first ask you to forgive me, forgive us, God. Of any sin, conscious and unconscious, God, that we've done. Wash us in the precious blood of the Lamb from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, from the inner part of our being to the outer part of our aura, God. Lord, deliver us from every foul, every unclean, compromising spirit in the name of Jesus. Cancel the plans of the enemy. Rid of the enemy's arsenal. Useless cause confusion in the enemy's camp. Loose, God, 
You're ministering angels to every spirit, every heart, every soul, every mind, every body. Father, become us humbly as we know how you said we are people who come. Would humble ourselves and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways. You would hear from heaven with the sacrifices exclusively acceptable to you, which are a broken spirit and a contrite heart. God, you'd forgive our sin and you would heal our land. So, Father, we're coming, standing in the gap for our brothers and for our sisters who said pray for me I lifted my brother George God I lifted my brother Conrad I lifted our returning citizens Akeem Lord I lifted my brother Daryl Father I lift up my brother Elliot I lifted my brother Reuben Delgado Jr. God I lift up every name God of every person who said please pray for me Father my brother Jason God Joseph Father, I thank you, Father, for what you're doing in their respect of life. Rob, God, Lord, name by name, situation by situation, Father. Make yourself like every person tuning to the broadcast, Father. Let the blessings of the Lord overtake them, not just them, Father, but their spheres of contact. God, you said you would that none would perish, but that all would come unto repentance. You said when we hear of wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes in different places, look up because our redemption is drawing near, but this is not the end. You said that the earth will be covered with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Then the end would come as you would that number perish, but then all will come unto repentance, God. Make yourself large. You said, let the weak things confound the strong, the foolish things to confound the wise, and the lonely things of this world to bring shame to the proud, that no flesh will glory in your presence. You said, before we call your answer, while we're yet speaking, you will hear us, Father. Every person, Father, we ask you just to saturate the airways, Father, with your Holy Spirit, God. Refresh us, God, this morning. As we're in your presence, God, we need you like never before, Father. Fill us up afresh again. We thank you for your new mercies every morning, every day. We get a fresh supply of mercy, God, and it's but by your mercy that we're not consumed. But your compassion fails not. Great is your faithfulness. So, Father, we bless you. We will bless you at all times. We will give you praise, God. We'll make our boast in you. You said the humble will hear of and be glad. We're magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. This poor man cried and God delivered him from all of his fears. Father, you know the plan that you have for us. It's to give us a hope. It's to give us a future. It's to bring us to an expected end. So Father, we'll trust you, God. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, Father, we as believers don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith, the substance of things that we hope for, the evidence of things not yet seen, God. We know that our best is yet to come. We will live and not die. You said, we that wait upon you, we shall renew our strength. We'll mount up with wings as eagles. We'll run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. You told us to wait on you. So, Father, we're waiting on you. We trust you, Father. Oh, God, make yourself large, God. Be a lamp unto our feet, light into our path, Lord. Help us to have the mind of Christ and put on the whole armor of God and to lay aside every weight and every sin that does so easily be set us. Father, help us to take the way of escape when temptation comes, God. Help us, Father, to be able to be who you've called for us to be, to be mature, that we bear fruit and much fruit and fruit that will remain, God. Father, that love, that joy, that peace, that long suffering, the gentleness, the goodness, the faithfulness, and the self-control that can only come through relationship with you. So, Father, God, do what only you're able to do. Father, those who don't know you, in the pardon of their sins, God, Father, we stand in the gap for them on this morning that they would know you, Father. We know it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your spirit. So, Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit moving all across the earth, Father, moving upon every human being globally, Father, to bring them to a place, Father, of revelation and submission to you, Father. Help us to recognize our dependency upon you. Help us to recognize our interconnectedness with each other. Help us to love God. You said, Beloved, let us love one another for lovers of God. And everyone who loves is truly born of God. He that loveth not does not know God. Help us, God, to worship you in spirit and truth. Help us to have an attitude of gratitude and expectation. Help us to praise you. You said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord as God inhabits the praises of his people. And in your presence, we experience fullness of joy or a calm assurance at your right hand, the optimal position of power and authority. There are pleasures evermore. You said, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of mankind. The good things that you prepare for those of us that love you, but you've given revelation to us through intimacy with you. So, Father, thank you for vision. Thank you for provision. Thank you for the labor. You said, the harvest is ripe, but the labors are few. So, pray for the labors. And we're praying for labors. We thank you for the laborers in Jesus name father 
we thank you for those who will say this prayer of commitment who don't know you and the pardon of their sins Lord Jesus I know that I'm a sinner I believe that you died for my sin and right now I turn from my sin I open the door of my heart and of my life I receive you as my Savior and the Lord of my life thank you for forgiving me and giving me eternal life and life more abundantly in Jesus name hallelujah that means to celebrate God the Father Jesus the Son and the Holy Spirit hallelujah amen means I agree with the Word of God now spend time in the Word of God that you can heal that you can mature and you can walk in wholeness in the beginning was the Word the Word was with God and the Word was God the Word became flesh Jesus he sent his word and healed them for the word of God it's quick it's living it's powerful it's sharper than any two and so piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and of spirit the joints and the marrow and it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart only the word of God can do that seek the Holy Spirit to lead you to a biblical community that where you can have accountability transparency you can heal you can mature and you can walk in wholeness consider the global ministries christian church if you don't have a church home we'd be so blessed for you to be able to consider worshiping with us every friday night we have prayer meeting and bible study 6 30 p.m we begin bible study 7 p.m we step into prayer meeting with testimonies and with songs of zion and then we go into prayer for what we're believing god yet to do hallelujah hallelujah join us on sunday morning 8 30 a.m for bible institute 9 30 a.m meet us at the altar for prayer 10 a.m we step into praise and worship if you can't be here physically consider joining us virtually 24 hours a day www.bostonpraiseradio.tv you can also tune in via our fm platform wbpglp 102.9 2 a.m to 9 a.m monday through saturday that's 2 a.m through 9 a.m wbpglp are the call letters 102.9 fm is where you'll find it on your radio dial locally here in the city of boston simulcasting on our main platform www.bostonpraiseradio.tv we're on sunday from 2 a.m through to 6 p.m on our fm platform wbpg lp 102.9 healing our land again is on every saturday 5 a.m to 7 a.m every sunday and wednesday 4 a.m to 6 a.m called the church of the midnight hour broadcast we're back on sunday evening 7 p.m to 9 p.m and that's on our main platforms exclusive of our fm platform sunday night 7 p.m to 9 p.m and tuesday through friday every day with the exception of monday again tuesday through friday 4 p.m to 6 p.m we also broadcast our uh, prayer meeting and bible study on friday night we broadcast our sunday morning worship experience you can write us at 670 washington street i'll be at the suffolk county house of correction again on this coming wednesday to be able to show the movie courageous pray for me pray that god set the atmosphere i'll be back on the following wednesday to show part two pray for the dialogue and the discussion to be one that is animated via the holy spirit we give god praise we give god glory hallelujah hallelujah father thank you again for every believer father lord you know they're what they're going through father meet them at the point of their need god do the exceedingly abundantly far above all that they could ever ask or ever think god i thank you for refreshing father spirit mind and body father lord lord do what only you're able to do in every listener father every person tuning to this broadcast bless them with the blessing of the lord overtake them in jesus name amen I want to acknowledge those who are joining us via facebook live feed our sister prentice denisha core god bless you sis hey premier ministries interpretive dance great woman of god love you to life god bless you and yours thank you for being tuned in phyllis murphy god bless you woman of god thank you for being tuned in blessings 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 i give my sister juanita peaches evans god bless you great woman of god uh all those who are tuned in on our www.bostonpraiseradio.tv god bless you those who are tuning in via wbpg lp 102.9 god bless you again in particular brother conrad and brother george praying for you god willing i'll be looking to see you one-on-one -on -one this week if god to say the same as well i look to see my brothers at the pastor rogers um, chaplain uh bible study on tuesday and we just give god praise for what god's doing and i want to acknowledge all the volunteers that were at the orientation thank you my brothers thank you my sisters for responding to our brothers and sisters who are incarcerated what a privilege what an honor 
to be able to walk with these great men and women of God. We're going to go to some more music, beloved family, as we wind down my time and get ready to shift gears and allow our brother Bishop Harold Branch to pick up the seat at 6 a.m. Hallelujah. Mary Alice Curry, God bless you, great woman of God. Love you to life. And I thank God for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're standing in his presence on holy ground. Amen, amen, amen. Bless the Lord. Going to shift to some music by, oh, help me, Holy Spirit. Uh, let's go to some music by, uh, I guess let's go to more of Boston and the England zone. So grateful that we've got so many gifted, anointed men and women of God. Thank you, my beloved sister, Mary Alice Curry, whom uh, are right from here in the city of Boston, who are just gifted, anointed men and women of God. We want to celebrate our own. I think I'm going to share with you my sister, uh, Darlene Wynn. I've really been enjoying her music, and um, she. we encourage you to pick that up. Her name is Darlene Wynn, a gifted, anointed woman of God. I don't know how many of you all know uh, I'm sure many of you know our sister Lori Harper, an incredible gift. Oh, that's the FCC doing something, so forgive me. The FCC has to do their test periodically. Excuse that in the back. Good morning, Miss Cookie Bullock. Thank you for being tuned in. So this is the gift of song. Uh, some people are just, we all can make a joyful noise, but some people have incredibly, um, th their calling is actually music ministry. The Bullocks, the Browns, the Baxters, uh, Sister Darling Winfrey, the Battle, and then many of the artists you hear, Pastor Clarence Powell, Bishop Bobby Perry. We've got some legends right here in the city of Boston, and this is one of them, Darlene Wynn. Her project is titled, Cut is the Gift of Song. Any places in my life and time Sung a lot of songs I made some bad rhymes Amen. Acted out my Curry. life in stages With 10,000 people watching But when we're all alone Amen. Darling, when songs entitled Endless and Abundant. Hallelujah. Thank you for your endless and abundant love, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Just like the ocean, my Lord, you are in. I hear you, Mary Alice Curry, but you can. You can make a joyful noise even if you don't think that's your call. And we all can worship and we can all praise him. And it's beautiful to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Savior. If it comes from a pure heart. She does have an amazing voice. I agree. You are in less time. 
Hallelujah. Ooh, Endless. Yes, Father, thank you. Yeah, God. My ministry, my gratitude, my trust. You are endless and abundant. Endless and abundant. Your mercy, your grace, your healing. Oh, Lord. Endless and abundant. Good morning, Lord, brother, sister, Tina, hallelujah, Wendy, and the women from the Hope House in New York, hallelujah, God bless you, great women of God, thank you for your endless and abundant love, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Holy Spirit, that comforts us. Wow, my time has quickly come unto an end, beloved family. I so regret it. I'd love to just continue worshiping beautiful Boston's own Darlene Wind. W Y N N N. Amen. This song's entitled Help Me Make It. Love you to life, love you family. Gotta run. We're gonna close out with little pieces before we go to our station ID. Stay tuned for a Bishop Howell Branch, 6 a.m. through to 7 a.m. ID will be on this morning as well. God bless you. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Love you to life. God loves you as well. See you tonight, 7 p.m. for Healing Our Land. Every Sunday night, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. But I don't see you this morning at the Global Ministries Christian Church. Blessings, love and family. Thank you. Amen. Sister Nene, God bless you, sis. Have a great day. Love you to life. Thank you for your faithfulness. Yes, I do. Bless you, Phyllis Murphy. Help me to make it, God. Yes. I just want to hear you say, enter into your rest, my good and faithful servant. Well done. Yeah, God, be a lamp unto our feet, light unto our path, order our steps, God. Now unto you who's able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of your glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God. You're the one, our Savior and our Lord. To you be all the glory, all the honor, all the dominion, and all the power, both now and forevermore in the matchless name of your Son, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Strengthen me within God. Yes, Lord. Help me to make it, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, 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 God. Thank you, Father. Let the doors to you. You are about to listen to Bishop Carol Branch with Down Home Gospel. He likes to thank you.